<laughs> Hello, my fellow Tesla lovers. If you live in any of these states, these states, or these states, you know that you require a front license plate holder. And uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you the company that I think does it best, and that is AutoStair. And the reason why uh, I think they're the best is because they're the least expensive. They're $84.99. They have the best look because it's flush to the car as it was meant to be because it uses the original Tesla license plate bracket. It's made in the USA, made of quality materials and has free shipping. The Bandit is only 120, it's still more expensive and it sticks out about 2 or 3 inches and I don't think that's a good look for any Tesla. Evanex has a product, it has a bracket that does keep the license plate a lot closer to the bumper. I think that looks a lot better but none of them have what AutoSear has. It's magnetic so you can remove it it and put it back on in just a matter of seconds. So this is what you receive in the mail. I'm going to show you everything that's inside. You're only going to need two other very important things. Number one is <laughs> the original Tesla license plate holder for the front. Surprise! He loves it. You love it too. Don't judge me. And you're also going to need a drill. Don't worry, you will not be using this on your car or the bumper or anything. You're actually just going to use it to drill uh, four holes into the plastic uh, original uh, Tesla license plate holder. I'm going to show you how to do this and uh, stay tuned till the end so that you can see me actually test driving this uh, magnetic license plate holder. I'm going to test drive it without the security screw. I want to see if it'll hold even while swerving and in the highway. So I'm going to share that with you guys and uh, hopefully you guys won't have any questions. You'll be able to do this like a pro when it's your turn. All right. So this is the actual plate that comes uh, with your vehicle. Uh, and what you're going to do now, I've already fixed on here this beautiful, I mean, beautiful custom made plate for my beautiful model three. Now what we're going to do is that you are going to take this little bracket here. You're going to line it up with this right here. You see that? So you're gonna put it in like so. If it's in there really snugly, it won't fall or anything. So if uh, you're not used to doing anything like this, like I am, it's foolproof. Is this weird? Do you think like Elon is gonna like put a restraining order on me or something? Nah. <laughs> Now, I love getting any excuse to use this tool because I totally don't know how to use it, but I just love the noise it makes. Okay, take the tool, put the bit on it. Should fit snugly. Snugly? Oh, I need to change this one too. Darn it, darn it. Take your drill. Fun part. Mm -hmm. And drill the inside of it. Be careful not to put your hand here, please. <laughs> oh, reverse. <laughs> okay. And forward. I love using this. Awesome. Reverse. Ha ha. All right. Once you've done that, remove the bracket. You're going to have two holes right there. See them right there? Okay, so then you're gonna take this again. You're gonna put it in this extremity right here, okay? Line it up with this little, this little tab that you see there. I love that this doesn't move, so you can literally do this standing as I am right now. Take your drill one more time. Careful with your fingers, please. Oh, I'm going backwards. <laughs> there you go. All right. And again. Awesome. All right. So what you're going to do next is that you're actually going to take the felt strips that come pre-cut with the magnetic uh, bracket from AutoSteer and you're going to remove these. Okay. And you're going to stick them in. I suggest you take the longest one and you put it all across the top first. So easy, my kids could do it. 
All right, so um, what, I'm, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna remove these screws that come already attached to the bracket. I've already removed them on these, and you get these short screws that are right here. Now, Mark, uh, the maker of AutoSteer, he provides for you these little washers, and we're gonna install them now with the actual Tesla bracket. So you're gonna take the Tesla bracket, license plate bracket, license plate holder, I don't know, something like that. So just take uh, the screw, the washer, and don't, and don't drop it. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna take that, and it should look like this when you're done with it, just like that, okay? See? <laughs> And you're gonna put these screws with the washer right into the holes that you had previously drilled right here, okay? Start with the one that's closest to um, the front of the plate. Use your Allen key to make things a whole lot easier. When you're done, it should look like this, okay? And this is the part, mm, I can try it. <sighs> That's the part, the magnetic part that actually stays stuck to the car. And this is what you would take off if you want to be naughty and remove it at certain times. But leave it on if you're supposed to leave it on. Welcome to my garage floor and the front of my Tesla bumper. Uh, to make this installation a lot easier, uh, remove the second screw because you're going to have two screws right here and just loosen up one of them, okay? When you're going to want to install this piece, right here into your, uh, the grill of your car, you're gonna wanna look at the horizontal spaces and you're gonna wanna put it on the third space from the bottom. So on the third space from the bottom, you're gonna put this horizontally, you're gonna drop it in there, it's gonna turn like this, and then you can tighten the screws. Use your Allen key to tighten. And right now, all that I'm doing is that I'm tightening the screws, although I'll probably have to loosen it because I haven't really verified if it works. Let's see. Okay, so I've put on both brackets onto my lovely <laughs> license plate. And now let's see, let's see if they'll click on correctly. So this is your middle. And then you're just gonna wanna position each one to each side. Once you've tightened them, just kind of eyeball it a little bit and try and get into the middle. You can adjust it later. I just want to see, will it work? <gasps> wow, that thing it snaps on tight. Oh, I love it. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow. And let's see the side view. Wow, just as it was meant to be by Tesla. I love that. Check it out. Now, right now, I'm not putting on the safety screws where I am. I'm not required to have a license plate, but I want to test this out for you guys. So check this out like that. It's off. Line it up. And that is amazing. That's amazing. I want to see if this stays on. I'm going to drive like a maniac. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be safe and uh, see, if, uh, see if it'll be okay. <laughs> This thing will not come off. And look, it comes right off and it goes right back on. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Till next time, Mwah. love you.